So I didn't get a chance to watch the fight, but I was listening to it on talk spots because I'm driving, I'm going on a long distance. And that fight ended in two rounds. I heard it was a brutal knockout. Francis got dropped in the first round one time, and then he got brutally knocked out the second time. No, he got dropped twice. Um, twice. He got dropped twice the second round, and then he got knocked out. Uh, honestly, congratulations to AJ. That's how you get it done. That's how you send a non-boxer back to where he came from. Man, boxing is not a joke, man. These MMA guys need to understand that we boxing fans, we can criticize our boxers. Me, I was rooting for Ungano to win, but I knew that his chances were very limited because you can't just go into boxing and beat a guy like AJ. AJ is a real solid fighter. And I have to agree, man, if AJ, right now, as we speak, right now, on the heavyweight landscape, I think AJ is the best. It's just unfortunate that he lost to Usyk twice. But if they were to run it back the third time, I would favor AJ. Oh. Like, AJ is now sharp, solid. He knows how to land that straight right hand on anybody. S standing on the southpaw stance, it doesn't matter. I heard Francis, once he switched to southpaw, that's when he, he got vulnerable and AJ landed on him. He did it again. He did it against so, Fury, and it, you know he, he think he thought he uh, against Joshua. Because I think he underestimated. He, 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 they, these guys only think Joshua is food. That who oh, Joshua is like they watched the Ruiz fight and they watched the um, the, the there is uh, level in this game, bro. Bro, yeah. man, AJ is not a joke, man. That's a solid guy, bro. To me, I would favor AJ right now. Right now, no, right now, no, I will favor AJ to beat Fury no, no, no. and Usyk. I did not favor AJ because he's a Nigerian. I favor AJ when AJ for Klitschko. That was the toughest fight. Then he came down. Go and watch AJ's fight with Kuprat Pulet. Pulet. That is a system that that that, that Fury is using. AJ was having his hand like this. Nobody gave him. Not everything based on Kukla. And watch that fight. That was a very difficult fight for AJ. He knocked me down. See how he set up. Go and watch AJ again. Jesus, the guy that James the Wilder knocked down in the first round. What is his name? The champion. The European. Two fights in the fourth. Alexander Yusek. Alexander Yusek remains still on top. You know why he lost? Because he wanted to go and box Yusek. Yusek is a good son. Yusek circles still around. He was good to walk. AJ Cole has used what he's been using. The tools he has been using is what he would have used against Alexander Yusuf. He would have gone on the body. Since you can't hit the head, go on the body. Go on the body. The head will open up and then you throw it. Bro, I'm surprised. Do you, do you know what? I, I'm surprised that Joshua just came. He, came, he didn't, he didn't buck, boss on his back foot. He came forward, basically. Yeah. And that surprised me, bro. It's an insult. The whole world doubted what you've been doing, what you're known for. The whole world doubted this guy. No one gave him a chance because people don't watch boxing. People watch the You have your mind. You can't speak your mind because you don't want to offend another person. Maybe you know the truth. That's why it's still boxing, bro. That's why I say I'm not going to be that kind of fan in boxing. I get chance. The only reason I choose Potter that is going to be Sam was because Sam overweight. You don't weigh 290 to go and box at the age of 40. Does that mean he could have closed that day? They were doing that in close to me. What happened? Baba capitalized to it. More movement. Switch. Fight. I said, the only way AJ is going to win, what I say, jab, throw the long jab, throw the long jab, throw the long jab. See, see this is what he was doing. He was messing him up and then throw under. And then he laid his face open. This is what AJ came 
The moment he came out, this is what he was doing. He tried to help bring his attention to his body. There is main focus was here. The three shot came right here. Why? Because he had rejected his attention from the head to the head. All that box, no box. I'm done. Bro, I'm very, I'm very sure now. If Joshua take up MMA, he will knock out almost everybody that Ngo has knocked out. Facts. Bro, he knocked him out no cold with the with the ten house gloves, bro. The difference is just the difference is clear. Look at look at how you gonna compare Sham to AJ. Look at Sham that I've seen today. The Sham I saw today is a veil of no Sham. Not a no Sham that we got. I feel it hard of that. It's not the Sham. It's not the guy. Mandam, that that was absolutely disgusting. Go and make fifty million. Go and make fifty million dollars. Gonna boxing career is over, bro. It's over. Like basically over. He needs to go back, bro. Oh my God, Ibrahim, come in, bro. Stay home, Ibrahim, 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 Ibrahim,
I think Ibrahim is like uh, Ade. Where is Ade? Yeah, Ade just took off. Man. <laughs> All right, my old Joe, come in, bro. My old Joe. Ibrahim should mute. Oh, wow. I always tell him to mute. Uh, the Joshua gonna find Joshua knock sending a message to MMA, bro. That's crazy. What do you make of it? Hi. Hi, gentlemen. Hi, Maya Joe. Good to see you again. Um, my take on this, I hope I can be heard well, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's clear now. My take on this is exactly what panned out. I had said this. I didn't imagine it was going to be in the second round, though. I was thinking it would be from the fourth round. Uh, and as a matter of fact, this night, just before I left um, an eatery where some of us gathered, and every person except me thought that Nganu can be folded. Everyone said that's never possible. And then I made a reference to Nganu Stipe Miosic first fight. Okay. Stipe Miosic is a technical fighter. Yes, I'm diverting a bit to MMA, but how can I not when we're talking about Nganu here? Uh, Stipe Miosic is a, is a technical fighter, but he's not a hard hitting puncher yet for a five round fight Nganu was breathing heavily through his mouth okay and then two uh, Nganu got a lot of touches even though Stipe Miyoshi did more of wrestling on Nganu than, than you know striking now yes everybody would say that Nganu has tremendously improved since after that fight but we're talking boxing here okay and I made everyone remember that AJ is a knockout specialist, which is why this fight was tagged um, knockout chaos. The only chance Nganu has is a puncher's chance, and that would be AJ lacking concentration or making a mistake. If that does not happen, AJ is going to shock the world. I use the word shock because no one has seen Nganu messed up. Now, I already, before this fight, was sad for Ngannou because I didn't want for this to be part of his legacy. I don't know who would do this to him in MMA, but doing this to him in boxing would, would crave, you know, shave off some of the story of ascendancy that Ngannou is already enjoying, and, which I think would have been good for him because I was looking forward to when it would be a beautiful Hollywood story that would be told. But the way AJ messed him up, I think this is the easiest fight AJ has had. Um, by not necessarily be in his entire career, but for a fight of this magnitude, this is the easiest AJ has had. Was there a touch to his face? Okay, apart from one body, uh, body jab, you know, one left hook. What really was done to AJ? Nothing. And imagine the way Ngannou was just collapsing. Like, this is no longer the absorbent Ngannou that we all talk about. It tells me something that AJ should be highly respected because this is a very powerful human being, very skillful fighter, yet very human, very humble, very relatable and very respectful to his opponents. I'm happy for AJ. I said something in our chat room yesterday. I said, for the legacy of boxing, I want AJ to win and win convincingly. And that's exactly what happened. So, yeah, I'm happy, even though I'm sad for Ngannou because, I mean, who doesn't like Ngannou? Even though um, his success against Tyson Fury began to get into his head and then he was talking out of tune. But I understand, I mean, I appreciate that AJ understood that look. I mean, this is Ngannou's moment, so allow him to talk. AJ was just focused on the job at hand, just like he was focused on the job against Well, There's something his new team is doing to his psyche that I like, okay? Um, he wouldn't, he, he would sometimes come to you as though he's disconnected, as though he's afraid, as though he's not sure of himself. And I, I like that because his haters will now go, you know, yapping 
and zapping all over the place saying AJ is scared, but he does the job on the night in the ring. Congratulations, AJ. I want to, for the sake of what we have been deprived of enjoying, AJ Fury, I just want to see to the possibility of Fury overcoming Usyk, okay, so that we can have that fight and uh, let's settle that AJ Fury supremacy once and for all. I'm, I'm super elated, super elated. Of course, you know, I haven't been on Where here for a very Ngannou long time. Where does Ngannou go from here, though? Ngannou should really focus on on on, um, on MMA, okay? Ngannou, I don't think Ngannou is going to get the kind of pay he has gotten from Fury and AJ's fight anymore, coming into boxing. I think you should stick with MMA. Um, if he goes to fight another solid fighter and they mess him up, his legacy will completely be rubbished. What about I would, uh, Deontay Wilder? Uh, well, again, if Wilder connects, we all know what will happen. If Wilder connects, Wilder has a longer reach. Yeah, but Wilder is not Wilder is not as te technical as Joshua. As he might not be as technical as as Joshua, but Wydak still can connect. That's the truth. I mean, who imagine that Wydak will connect on Robert Hellenius the way he did, you know, in their fight? That kind of connection can happen. So for me, Ngannou, please go back to MMA. You have an amazing deal with PFL. You are in management level, Locada with PFL. You are sitting on the top board of PFL Africa concentrate on that i mean nobody will take away your story from you your legacy from you build that store that legacy stronger and um concentrate on mma that's what i'll say to Ngano. and of course this is a solid warning to every other mma fighters uh you yeah you want to cross over to the backyard of the boxers i mean you're you're challenging yourself but man leave your backyard for them they will always mess you up Thanks, bro. I do appreciate your take on this and your assessment is very valid. Uh, Adewale, you didn't get to give your take, um, you know. So, um, what is your take? And you said, yeah, you are, you are, like, you are proud of the Jewish world. Like, where does it going to go from here, though? Yeah, man, I'm I'm proud of AJ. Good performance. I'm still not an AJ fan, but I'm happy he puts the MMA guy back where he belongs. I'm also very very happy for Ngano for making a quick 25, 30 million, whatever life changing money. Man, Ngano he has to move on with his life. Boxing is not for him. At 37 years old, there is no way you can rise to the top and have any chance in defeating, you know. The top guys i you would never become a world champion you were lucky i i feel like it was the karma of tyson fury for being a career cheat a very unscrupulous character that's why you had that success over tyson fury and that paved the way for you to fight aj you know making big money in boxing but go back to pfl bro go back to pfl maximize your money from the pfl um um man you have a good day bro just go back there you know, develop new fighters, create a business for yourself and do well for yourself. Congratulations to both guys. It was a good event at the end of the day. But this is a clear warning to MMA fighters. You want to come into boxing and feel like you can challenge the best? We've seen one other guy in, in 135 pound division, Sean O'Malley, calling out Javante Davis. Bro, you're going to get stretched out badly. Badly. You're going to get... But I also understand these guys need money. Boxing is where the money is. At least for now, there is still a lot of money in boxing. So they are looking for the money. I hope they all get knocked out anytime they come to boxing. But yeah, that's my take on that. Thanks, bro. I appreciate your take. Uh, my old Joe. Come in, bro. Yes, boss. Yes, boss. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, bro. Oh, sorry. I have to step out because I've got a lot of people in the house. So, yes. This year, I'm really good to hear from you, bro. It's been a while. Happy New Year. 
Adewale, my brother. I actually, um, I appreciate you coming on. I thought you weren't going to come on at all tonight. Um, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Listen, I did not see this coming. Um, like I said yesterday, I had this crazy dream, you know, that Ngannou knocked out Joe Sharp. As a matter of fact, you see the way I saw that dream? <laughs> it's, that's what Joe Sharp did, like, Oh my God, I was genuinely scared for Ngano, honestly. That knockout was bad, honestly. And this just proves one more time, don't play boxing, okay? Um, Ngano, I think, lost focus, not a little bit. He did lose a lot of focus. I'm not saying that if he had kept his focus intact, I'm not saying that he would have had a chance to win. I'm just saying that he was talking too much smart, man. Um, I, I yesterday I gave the example of uh, Otto Walling, how Otto Walling was talking a lot, and Ngano did the same thing. I think that the way Ngano performed against Fury got into Ngano's head a lot. So in his mind, he thought that boxing is easy. Like, oh, so this is the sport they've been talking about. I went into boxing, I fought their number one, <laughs> and what? Hey, let me just say this: this just proves again that Fury is way overrated. I have been saying this. I think I've read Islam say it. A few people have been saying it. Fury is way overrated. You put Fury against Joshua right now, I think Joshua knocks him out clean. I think Joshua puts him to bed. Bro, the, so, fear, the fear in Fury's face, man. You can just you tell. Look, Fury looks scared. Like, genuinely, he looked scared. Like, I saw his face. Like, I'm sure Fury heard the sound of that punch. And Fury would have been like, damn, I'm not going to get into the ring with this guy. And Isiyama did mention about um, uh, Fury. Hopefully, Fury, you know, wins against UC can we get that fight. Isiyama, unfortunately, if Fury wins against UC, he's not going to win anyway. I'm, I'm very sure of that. Um... But even if he manages and finds a way to win, he's not going to fight, fight AJ. I can tell you that now. My, my, he won't. my brother, my brother, I was just hoping for something that would bring Fury against Joshua. That's, that's yeah. a huge hope, but I was just hoping. Yeah, unfortunately, my brother, I'm going to break your heart that that's not going to happen. Even if Fury wins against Usyk twice, guess what he's going to do? Well, I have fought, well, Usyk defeated AJ twice, and I fought Usyk and I beat him, blah, blah, blah. So because of that, I have come to the end of the road. I can't take it anymore. I can't fight anymore. I'm the best of this era. No one born of his mother's womb, blah, blah, blah. And that's going to be the end of it. He's going to retire. That is it. He's not going to fight AJ. He has been ducking that fight for a long time. Remember in 2012, I think so, or 2000, no, 2011. When Fury talked about AJ, he said that there was this guy, this novice boxer that came into the gym and gave me help. He almost knocked me out. And that Fury remembers that sparring session. He remembers it. He didn't forget it. And as a result of that, he has been dodging, he has been ducking um, Joshua. And he's not going to fight. He's not going to fight Joshua. So Joshua anyone told, hoping to see Joshua, that? Joshua has told Ngannou not to retire from boxing. Well, Joshua is just being a gentleman. Please, Ngannou, retire from boxing. Please, don't do this again. Because with that, with the way he got knocked out today, he's taking something huge out of Ngannou. Not only mentally, physically as well. The the chain. So, the chain. Remember this? It's, it's not been exactly. Down. But look at how in the first round he already got knocked down by AJ and then the second round twice. So I don't really think that Ungano should do this again in boxing. I'm being honest. I just think that he needs to forget about boxing now. Go back to MMA. Um, do what you do over there. Um, you know, you've got a fantastic deal with, with the PFA. Please go back there. Leave boxing alone for now because AJ has damaged you tonight. And if you go in there against somebody else, I'm really, really scared what might happen to you because I was so scared. I was really, literally afraid. The way he went down, he banged his head against the canvas. And he didn't get up for like, what, two, three minutes? Hmm. So please don't do this. Don't do this. 
This is not, you see people keep saying, oh, you get hit in the head in MMA, but you forget that bo boxing is. Yeah. Very punch. My, my brother. Yeah, bro. Wait, <laughs> oh, 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 I muted um, uh, my audio is almost finished. Are you coming? All right, my audio finished. Uh, right. coming. So what, what, pe what people don't, don't remember is that, see, with boxing, the jabs and the punches comes regularly. Yeah, you, you, get, you, you get punched regularly. You get jabs regularly. In the MMA, yes, you get kicked in the head and all of that, but I don't think it's as regular as boxing. And you're not allowed to use any other part of your body apart from your feet, I mean, your your, your hands, you know. So, you know, honestly, please, Ngano, we love you, our brother. Please, just leave boxing alone. Bro, because what way, happens to you the tonight way is boxers, that the The way boxers throw technique, the way they throw punches, eh? That over, oh, this different. one knocked um, uh, Ngano out with an over right hand. Basically, I saw. Right hand, bro. That's the same thing. He, 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 land, he knocked uh, uh, Elenius. Elenius. Uh, uh, he knocked Elenius out there, right? With the same thing, yes. Yes. But the thing with this one is that it, this the one against Ngano connected well, properly. The range was good, the distance was perfect. Ngano opened up. AJ, AJ, AJ was protecting him from the first round. Where Ingano was doing that left. Ah, somebody, can you all move? Because I can hear myself back. Hmm. Okay. Now, yeah. AJ, I can hold hear on, myself back. On. Yeah, uh, I think it's from uh, uh, Matoton. Matoton, can you like mute it? Okay, yeah, now you can talk. Right. If you guys watch, right? Ngano was doing, I, I mean, I watched this fight with some friends and family, and we all saw it. We were like, Ngano is doing the same thing. The way he knocked Fury down, he was trying to use the same method where he was reacting to AJ's punches using the left hook. But he was repeating it too much that AJ studied it perfectly. And AJ was like, okay, you open up again with your left hook, I'm going to come in on with the right, overhand right. And that was exactly what he did. And if you watched before AJ actually... Um, uh, in the backstage where where he was you know doing his his thing with um his, his coach he was practicing that right hand that's why he kept doing it and that was the exact punch he, he knocked him out with so i'm just going to suggest just to round up so i don't talk too much now or do you, or do you, you mind you if i ask you a question or, bro or do what do you think about all the uk british media that rooted against the joshua man turn that fire all of them turn that will fire all of them guys i have a question i beg i get question i beg so what do you guys think okay. you know we're, we're all advising francis to go back to pfl mma but do you think he mm. has one more big paycheck in in boxing against maybe wilder both of them are coming off losses and that might spark some intrigue in the fans i guess what well, <sighs> that would be interesting i would love to see that would be that would be um, that would be interesting, but um, I still think that Wilder, yes, Wilder didn't really show up um, against um, jo um, um, Joseph Parker. However, I think that Wilder is still a dev devastating puncher, and with the damage that AJ has caused tonight, if Wilder now goes in there and knocks out Ngano, huh, my brother, the scary, I just think he should leave boxing alone. Wada is also a is a dangerous, dangerous puncher, and we should not um, encourage him to continue this. Uh, yeah, did you guys not, did you guys not see what I saw? Yeah. It's scary. It was yeah. scary. Yeah, uh, uh, okay. I think I can hear the echo. Okay, bro. Uh, let's go around here, Matoton, to finish it off and answer your question. Now, do I, Matoton, come in, bro. Yeah, let me just answer. A little, let me just say a little bit more on what he asked. If um, if Francis should just go back to PFL. Well, Nkano has done, despite his loss tonight, he has done what so many boxers or UFC fighters doubted him for. He has gotten the best paycheck in his lifetime. He lost nothing. I don't see any other match that will make the money he has made tonight. It's not going to happen. Not even, in, not even in UFC or PFL. I will give him $20 million. For tonight's fight. He has cast in. What else is he looking for? You don't want to bring in Wilder. When I kept saying these things, you guys thought I hate Wilder. When I kept saying you guys thought I hate Fury, 
I don't have any of these guys. I watch this boxing critically. I don't listen to what people say. I'm not AJ's fan. I kept saying it. I got attracted to AJ because I studied every fight from this guy. Same thing with any other boxer. Does that mean? Now, because he lost to AJ, doesn't mean that he doesn't have a chance in boxing. He lost because AJ is in on, on another zone. Forget he lost to Alexander Yusek. Alexander Yusek is, is a skillful. Boxing is timing. It's movement. It's positioning. What AJ did, he did not do that with his last fight. Because the last fight was a boxer. So when the whole world gave credit to Nkanu, I don't know where Teddy Atlas, a man I used to respect, could talk so damaging against a guy that is trying. AJ never said he has perfect. He has perfected. He said, I'm still learning. You understand me? So why do we give Nkanu such credit? Crossing over the whole world. I'm in America. No American gave AJ a chance. But when I'm speaking out, it was like I hate, I, I, I'm the only single guy that speak in favor. I wasn't speaking in favor of AJ. I stepped because I saw what he did with Robert Hilenius. Forget that Wilder knocked him out on the first round. But you guys have ever thought if Wilder didn't knock Robert on the first round or second round out, you guys ever thought what could have happened to Wilder? But AJ breaks Robert step by step before knocking him out. He tried to break. He was trying to break Nganu because Nganu is not a boxer. Look, he will look straight on top of, he looks straight on his face and then he go under. When he goes under and then he's setting up the right. By, by going under, he deflects, he deflected Nkano's rhythm of throwing power shock. What Nkano was trying to do was to deflect that shock under. He kept, when he saw he had the perfect timing, he threw that in. Why didn't you do it with any other boxer? Because there's level in these games. AJ is on another zone. Listen, that's not to say. AJ steps into the ring with Alexander Yusek. It's going to be Alexander Yusek like that. Alexander Yusek is, is on the zone with AJ. Never Fury. Never Fury. Never Fury. Never Deontay Wilder. That's why Fury and Deontay Wilder jump in to fight Nkanu. AJ never wanted Nkanu. Because he knew Nkanu has nothing to do with his profession. AJ is looking for all this vision. And I want to say, no matter how they look down on you, when you have a goal, go after your goal, you're going to get it. The whole world never wanted AJ to be undisputed. What are they going to do? A man that went pick WDO, pick WDA, pick IBO, pick all the belts, single-handedly, and then all of you never given this man a credit, and you want me to shut up? Bro, even if I got drunk tonight, I'm the happiest man. Why? Because AJ has proven every goes wrong. I Thanks, bro. Let me, let me go sleep. Because I have to work eight. <laughs> it's two, it's, it's two, uh, 30, almost 2 30 a.m. now. <clears throat> I want to say big shout out to each and every one of you. Uh, after work tomorrow, we'll be back to it to discuss Fury reaction to Anthony Joshua knocking out Francis Gano. His choice of words after after Joshua did, did that. Saying that, yeah, I will have to take it off Usyk first, and then we'll see. Listen, Fury, this version of Joshua can beat anyone. That includes Fury and Usyk in the third, the third time. Ari, may I just add, sorry, um, may I just add that I think that um, Joshua 2.0 is really looking like a very dangerous Joshua, honestly. Joshua 2.0, I think, is looking very, this second phase of his career, it's going to be very interesting. Yeah, with Brett Davison, I see, I see something. But of course, I wouldn't judge his fight on because Ungano is not a boxer. However, everybody counted Joshua out, bro, and it's not to see him do the get the job done. And all these haters like Teddy Atlas and this, these guys, listen, these guys are morons, bro. But let me not use scores words, but I'm glad Joshua won. I'm happy. 
I'm have very happy Thanks because back. this they he saved boxing. Basically, he put boxing back on the map. Listen, you cannot just come from MMA, no matter how big. But the, my surprise is that Ngano has never has, has never been knocked down. He's taking so many elbows, so many kicks to the to the head and everything. Joshua, bro, yeah. Joshua carries yeah. power, bro. Yeah. Joshua, Joshua is not Joshua is not your typical puncher. Joshua is not your typical puncher. Yeah, man. We'll discuss expect more about it later. White. Yeah, expect Dana White to mock Ngannou. Expect some MMA fighters to mock Ngannou. Just expect it tomorrow. And he, Eddie Han, you are a very wicked human. You set up Ngannou on this fight. You knew that Joshua was going to destroy him. You dismissed Ngannou all this while. All of a sudden, you picked, you accepted this fight. And I was seeing the snare on your on your on the college the end, smile you were giving. And the end has nothing to do with it, bro. I myself thought today that Gun will give you some problems. Because we No we, No uh, Yeah because Please, it, guys he has not I've never seen him run before. I've never seen him dropped. He's not been dropped. Did, did not do anything wrong. At the end no, no nobody wanted to fight in Kano. Not because exactly. of the, Yeah, not at the end, not just the boxer. Nkano was a distraction to the goal. AJ was going for the goal. So he doesn't want of these distracting fights left and right. His mind was set on the goal. Those that were for distraction were Fury. Uh, I, I, imagine Deontay Wilder say he want to go and fight UFC. All those are distractions. Taking, taking you away where you should be going on the goal. So because they distracted this fight so much and this guy got into the ring, and then and then pop fury and fury fell down and that's what brought this fight now now the body came out now okay aj i'm pretty sure if aj did not take this fight you know what guess what's gonna happen he's a coward we say he doesn't know how to fight listen aj this fight doesn't add nothing to aj i repeat what lennox lewis said i respect lennox lewis very well but aj needed to prove this point I totally, I totally agree with Emma, Emma, Emma Tom on this one. That AJ needed to take this fight. Honestly, if we didn't take this fight, we're not, we're not going to get the end of it. Especially after that performance against Fury, we needed AJ to do this. Sorry, my brother, we focus now on UFC. Don't think, please, I'm going to say it again. Let nobody think because Nkano is knocked out in a drastic, in, in a in, a, in, a, in a such erratic way that they could run through Nkano. Nkano is not someone you could run through. Any other boxer that want to box Nkano is, is placing himself on a dangerous zone. It shows that this game is timing. It shows that this the AJ is on a, a zone of Alexander Yusek. Fury is not in that zone. And uh, Deontay Wilder is not on that zone. It's not right, bro. People on that zone, they are there. Uh, uh, what is his name? Uh, uh, Philip Hagago is in that zone. Watch boxing, bro. These other bosses are there. Fury is not on that zone. I'm telling you, bro. He's right. I respect him. He's not on that zone. This thing of, of imposing power, generalize, generalizing, that's why it's gypsy. Gypsy comes to you when you work on your brain, work on your mind. And that's what Deontay was doing. They stopped AJ. AJ would have been undisputed for a long time. It was Tyson Fury and the, the, uh, uh, Deontay Wilder that delayed the game. Plus the American, because they wanted to bring American champion. If AJ was from America, he, he would have been undisputed a long time. Maybe you guys don't understand the game. They could delay. You can never be denied. AJ will be undisputed at some point. Let's leave it there. And, 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 and the reason why we're even getting the chance to see on the screen is because of AJ. Yes. Because AJ collected all those belts. And because if he, didn't, if he didn't collect those belts, we're not going to be talking about the streets right now. Yeah, he man. took the belt single-handedly, individually. Youthful strength he used. You understand me? But then they blocked him from left and right. I used to ask him, if he picked IBU, if he picked WBU, 
Why WBA? Why, what about it? What about it? He came to America to fight Deontay Wilder. Here in American soil, after America rejected, Deontay rejected the fight. He moved down here after dominating Europe. When he came down here, what happened? They set up, they set up Baby Miller. And Baby Miller did all the stunt that went and took drug, injected so much, drank so much, just to withstand AJ. And what happened? AJ lost interest. He lost interest because the uh, the fight had already been made. They had already bought. They bring an uh, immediate replacement, whom he did not even prepare for, whom he had lost interest, lost concentration. They bring him up. What happened? But AJ never gave up. No matter how the risk kicked him down, he did not quit. He never quit it. He was still there until which I respect the decision of that referee for saving AJ to fight another day because and the reels was on destructive zone. But thank God the referee stopped the fight. But AJ, AJ, he never wanted to give up. That's the heart of the fighter. He stood up and shook his hand and went back to drawing board. On his second fight, did they give him credit for winning the 10 round, the 12 round? They never given him credit. They say he was running around. If he was Wilder, they would have given him credit. If it was uh, Tyson Fury, he would have been given credit. But for AJ, he was running around. He was he didn't even win. Bullshit. Give credit to who credit is due. Bro, when you make $20 million and then you are still able to step in a boxing ring and train, I will respect you. If money don't change you, then you deserve respect. Money hasn't changed AJ. Thanks, bro. God bless you all, and uh, catch you guys on the next one. Cheers, guys.